Today, an up-close look at extreme earwax. Everyone's been buzzing about how one man's need to clean his ears led to a life-threatening emergency in his skull, which begs the question, can you really get a brain infection from using a cotton swab? And what is the safest, best way to clean your ears? Let me bring in Dr. Jen Cottle, who's been investigating this story ripped from the headlines. Tell us more about this case of an ear cleaning that really, really went wrong. This, I honestly, this case is remarkable to me. It was a 31-year-old male who unknowingly got the tip of a cotton swab, just like this one, stuck in his ear canal. So we're talking about kind of right down here, okay? Got that stuck in his ear canal. What happened was a major bacterial so this, infection. So this, this popped off his little tip here? The tip part, yeah. So like the cotton stuff ended up staying in, oops, I can't make it stay. But you know, like all the way down in here, see if I can jam it in there. There we go, oh. we got the idea. Well, that's the idea. But this is the thing, major bacterial infection. He ended up with ear pain, drainage from the ear, uh, headaches, memory loss, hearing loss. Hold on, he even had seizures. He goes to get medical care, and this is really unbelievable. And his CAT scan, his imaging rather, showed this. What we're looking at, take a look at this. That's the eyeballs, by the way, just to order. Eyeball your nose, uh, yes. forehead. So this is the front. And this right here is basically a pus pocket. It's an abscess. Oh. So what happened was this bacterial infection basically traveled to this area of the brain and the cranium. Unbelievable. <laughs> People go to great lengths to get rid of their earwax. I didn't even realize how deep everyone's obsession with earwax was until I went online. Take a look at some of the videos of extreme earwax. You will not believe these. These earwax videos are just what they're oh. gross. Why, why does the body even need earwax? Yeah, so I have to say, it, it, it does seem kind of gross. So many of us think it's gross. I clean out earwax a lot in my family practice office. But we really shouldn't think about earwax as being gross because actually it's very helpful and important. First of all, earwax has antibacterial and antifungal properties. That's so important for keeping bacteria out of our ears. And the other thing, you know, it's kind of goopy and sticky and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I just yeah. saw that. Yeah, okay, yeah. So, but that's important because it traps debris and dust and foreign objects, keeps it from getting back down into this ear canal, which is where we don't want things to go, right. which is what we saw happen in, in the earlier case. So earwax is a really good thing. Yeah. So just to be clear about yes. this. Earwax here, normal, good, healthy. You just want to shove it in any further, and if you do, you can create more problems. That's right. And ideally, when we, when we treat our earwax correctly, it'll fall out on its own. That's right. That's right. right. Now, let me show you exactly 